Hello, I'm the doctor. Welcome to Dr. Geek. Today, with only two more episodes left in series 11, episode 9 airing tomorrow is our penultimate story. So, let's take a look at everything we know so far about It Takes You Away. First off, the original synopsis for episode 9, released by the BBC, reads... On the edge of a Norwegian fjord in the present day, the Doctor, Ryan, Graham, and Yaz discover a boarded-up cottage and a girl named Hani in need of their help. What has happened here? What monster lurks in the woods around the cottage and beyond? So, once again, for the sixth time this season, our story takes place on Earth. And that means that only three stories so far have taken place not on Earth. One of those was on a spaceship, one on a moon, and only one has been on an alien planet. I'm not complaining necessarily, just pointing it out. Taking place in present day Norway, the doctor and friends meet a young girl in need of their help from a monster. Seems simple enough. So let's take a look at the trailers. Although while we normally first start with our next time trailer, the two are almost identical this week. So we'll start with the longer one and then go to the shorter for the two extra little details that it shows. No way. Definitely no way. Soil? So, the trailer opens with the TARDIS in the woods of Norway, and it looks like this is going to be an absolutely gorgeous episode, which I will say has been one of the overwhelming positives about Series 11. The new cameras are fantastic, and the cinematography has been dramatically improved. The doctor looks around at the scenery and she declares it to be Norway before she offers some soil to her companions. And since she's definitely eating something here, I'm sure that she tasted the dirt in order to make sure that it was in fact Norway dirt. And that definitely lines up with Jody's portrayal of the doctor so far as just a very fun and zany person. A cottage in winter with a chimney but no smoke. Here, we begin to get an idea as to what the synopsis was discussing, as we are introduced to our mysterious boarded-up cottage in the woods, which the doctor notices has no smoke coming from its chimney despite it being winter. And as they approach, we see that there is someone inside the cottage, which is likely the honey from the synopsis. By the way, I'm only 60% sure that that's how you pronounce that name. It could be Hani or Hani or Hana. I couldn't figure it out. So if you have an idea, comment down below. Once inside the cabin, the doctor looks out of a triangle window, fogging up the glass. And then Graham and the doctor react to hearing what sounds like a monstrous roar through the forest. Which is clearly the monster for the episode. Although if this story follows the trend, I'm sure that there will be something more to it than just that, as our villains this year are never that straightforward. What's got you so scared? It takes you away. It takes you away. The trailer ends with the doctor comforting a little girl hiding under a table, which is Hani. And as she asks her what's got her so scared, Hani repeats over and over the name of the episode. It takes you away. We get a shot of the doctor inside the cabin using her sonic, and then the strangest image from either trailer, as it looks like the doctor is pushing her way through a portal to another dimension. And she seems surprised or scared by what she finds there, based off of her facial expression. Out of the promo pictures, one of them, and the one that I chose for the picture for this video, shows the doctor inspecting a mirror that seems to be just about this size. So, going out on a limb here, perhaps the mirror is the doorway. Either way, it seems like this could be the twist to the villain that I was discussing earlier, as there's clearly more than just a monster in the woods in this story. And this could even be the and beyond that the synopsis mysteriously teased at the end. Now, as I said, the next time trailer is almost identical to this one with the beginning scenes mirroring it almost exactly. But there are a few small extra details, so let's quickly take a look. A cottage 
in Norway in winter with a chimney but no smoke. So again, we open as we did before. Only this time, we can see all or most of the TARDIS team is standing outside of the TARDIS. And the lighting appears to be slightly different. So, this could be the same scene as before, just a little later, or it could be the end of the episode before they leave. After that, it's the same as the other trailer for a few quick scenes, but the new detail comes here at the end. So, let's take a look, and more importantly, listen. Such tragedy makes me hungry. So we again see the person behind the door and the doctor looking through the window. But this time, we hear a man say, Such tragedy makes me hungry. And as he does, an insect flies up to a red light. We once again end on the doctor pushing her way through the portal, and that's the end of it. But what is going on with that insect? With our first inclination of the villain this week being a large monster in the woods, and then our second being some sort of alien or mystical force from an unknown dimension, we are now confronted with a creepy voice that delights in tragedy and a close-up on an insect. So honestly, I don't know where this episode is going. And I'm excited to find out since it's written by the same writer as last week's episode, Joy Wilkinson. And since she did a fairly good job with the Morax, I have high hopes for her episode this week. Let me know in the comments what you think the monster's going to be, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss a video. As always, thank you for being my companions on this journey today. I'm the Doctor. Bye for now.